cryptocurrency breaking newsroom, and this is your host, Old Vincenzo, and we're going to go over the latest breaking news and regulatory uh, laws that are being introduced into the coin world. And it's most importantly to stay up to date on all of this is to hit that subscribe button, the like, and the share, and most importantly, the bell notification to stay up to date and sidestop the old criminal gangsters that are out there trying to fleece heist and chase you, yes, you, the retail trader. Join old Vincenzo. Peace and love to my beautiful audience. Vincenzo's called Crypto Investing, and you can see the coins initially started to pump earlier today, but as the futures market opened, like we were warning yesterday, the volatility would come back in, and we're watching in Bitcoin to see if this can break to the downside. Right, this long consolidation, it's targeted move. If it breaks to the downside, is seventeen eight sixty nine. If it breaks to the upside, it would come back into this supply area about the two hundred day moving average at twenty one thirty seven. But right now, it looks like it's starting to break to the downside. And if you haven't checked out the hottest uh, college football news channel, you need to go check out college football news from old Vincenzo. We picked up. If uh, 13, 14 subscribers yesterday, you can see, look at all these views we've had in the last 48 hours, f almost 4,000 views and skyrocketing. Check it out before it's too late. Hit that subscribe button, help support the new channel. And you can see Bitcoin as we get back here live to the Bitcoin price. You can see we had that initial pump up to get some excitement. The futures market opens, people that aren't paying attention jumping up there and they quickly get the rug pulled out underneath them. And now they're hoping and scratching and clone that we can hold this retest but if we fail this retest we're going to initially come down to the orange support zone all the way down here at about 19,269 and that's what we're going to pay attention for in this critical critical area and my commenter xrp you said our price forecast has been the same for the past few days well look at where the price has been the past few days the price has been sitting since august 28th to the 6th it's been sitting right there there's not much i can tell you on the price but this is your support right and if you break that you come down to the next level down to 29 cents and this is your upper resistance the 200 day and then your major upper resistance 37 cents like it was back here for quite some time it's been in this same pattern for quite some time i can't just make up price movement and talk about price movement that's not there i can only talk about what's currently there and when you have a price that hasn't moved at all there's not much to talk about with the coin update right i've given you some news and i can only do the price updates that there is and we said we were going to wait for volume to come in like there was because the volume was declining and look at that you pumped up hit the 200 day and if you go into the 15 minute you've initially got rejected and now what you're going to look at here that the price is starting to move is in the shorter time frame for the price to come all the way back down to the 200 day. And that's what you would need XRP to hold. If it slips to 200 day, it's going to come back to this old support zone. And then the old technical analysis still applies. If you break that, you're going to come on down to the next lower level uh, at 29 cents, right? So I, I can't help you if the price isn't moving. If you don't want the coin update... I'll just not do the coin update on XRP when the price isn't moving, but that's not what the mass majority of people want. So old Vincenzo will give you, I can't help but the price isn't moving. And then if we look here, we can see Luna yesterday, Luna Classic, when the price was consolidating in here, we were somewhere in here and we put up that the price, if it broke to the upside, your technical target would be all the way up there. And you can see we came awfully close. We came up to... If we take a look at that, we came up to 0 0.0042. And from the consolidation that it was in when we were looking at it, it, holy shit, it made a 74% move. We had a 50% update yesterday that the coin could move and it moved 74%. And one of my subscribers said in that video, he was taking a gamble down there and congratulations on that. And if you took the gamble down in there, I would just have my stop loss set below that 100 day moving average. If it slips below the 100 day, have it trigger out if it stays above that 100 day in the 15 minute time frame you can continue to ride to the upside but if it does start to come back down and break the moving averages you would likely come back down to this critical blue fib circle down here at 21772 right so that's what that's looking like 
We've talked about that. Let's see if there's any XRP news. Ripple lawsuit. Jeremy Hogan speaks on expectations regarding summary judgment uh, briefings. Uh, Ripple litigation are still in place as the much anticipated start of the summer. Summary judgment briefing in September approaches. UDOT today reported that motion for summary judgment are expected to be submitted by September the 13th. XRP friendly attorney Jeremy Hogan is not left without expectations either as he took to Twitter to highlight one of the key things he hopes to see in the summary judgment briefings. The extent Ripple makes the comparison between XRP and Ethereum. Hogan wrote, one thing I'm interested to see soon in the summary judgment briefing is to what extent Ripple makes the comparison between XRP and Ethereum. At the center of the Ripple lawsuit is a speech by former SEC official William Hidman in 2018 stating that ethereum was not a security observers believe that the lawsuit could all come down to the speech made by the former sec official four years ago documents according to ripple are necessarily to demonstrate that the company did nothing wrong and that the sec arbitrator arbitrarily selected winners and losers in the building cryptocurrency market ripple officials also think the that the record that the SEC wants to keep secret will reveal disagreements among the agency's top officials about labeling XRP security, undermining the SEC's position. Uh, the remaining months of 2022 may be critical in the dispute. Jeremy Hogan believes the card, the cards will be in the table in this period, right? So that's critical XRP breaking news. And we'll keep an update on that. And that's some big time news, breaking news there. Something to talk about with XRP. And then as we round out with a little bit of Dogecoin love, we haven't talked about the Dogecoin in a while. And you can see for the Dogecoin millionaires out there, you can see Doge hasn't been doing anything either since the last time we talked about it. It's sitting down here in this consolidation trying to form this rounding bottom. But what we could be having here is... This little consolidation here you could say it's forming sort of a bear consolidation where this is the pull you'd come down to the bottom of the move to the point of a breakout and look at that that would line you up with the middle of this prior consolidation over here see that and that would be a technical target down there in a short term move five and a half cents and you got your major underneath support at 4.9 cents right and you have your major overhead resistance all the way up here at 0 0.0727. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love to you beautiful audience members.